Josh, congratulations. Um, what's the reaction of the your teammates in the dressing room to your award? They don't even know that. <laughs> <Don't they? laughs> no, no, so I'll let them know when I get back in there. But yeah. Any particular reason you didn't want to tell them that you won it? No, I wasn't sure when I was allowed to tell anyone, so no. You're in uh, esteemed company because Deli Ali and Wilfred Zaha, amongst others, have won the award before. Mm. So, uh, you know, what does it mean for you personally? I think it's definitely a nice moment for me because of all the hard work I've put in to, to, to get this award. I think obviously the start of the season has been good, so I just want to try and build on it from here. And as far as the start of the season goes, um, when pre-season was taking place, you're obviously heavily involved. How much did you think you were going to get involved once the season actually started? I always had it at the front of my mind that I was going to be involved, but I wasn't sure if I was going to start. And obviously the manager's shown that faith in me and he's given me my opportunities and I've repaid that faith. So I'm just grateful for that. And well, repay that faith, you're almost making it impossible for the manager to drop you at the moment, isn't it? Aren't you? Yeah, I think just scoring goals is one thing that's come to me quite natural, so as long as I'm doing that, I think the manager's going to find it hard to, to take me out of the team, but I need to just keep working hard, keep, keep staying humble and grounded, and I think I'll stay in the team. You had that great start, four goals in four games. Um, it, what was going through your mind then in terms of were you sometimes thinking, can I keep this going, can I keep this going? Because it's always the fear in a striker's mind that you're going to hit that. Man yeah, that. I mean, of course there's going to come a time where you don't score in a game and, and you have to be ready for that. But I think when I was scoring, I, obviously I was happy and I was confident and I was thinking, OK, every time I shoot, I'm going to score. And yeah, I think it's great to have that ability to, to, to score. And I think... As more games come, I think I can keep doing that, but I just need to stay focused and keep working hard. You, you had a, a sort of small taste of this league, if you like, playing in the Czech Trade Trophy last mm -hmm. season. Uh, now you're in it for real, week in, week out. How, how are you finding League One? Um, it's difficult, it's a very difficult league. It's physical and it's hard work, but I think as a team, we've started off really well, and I think as long as we keep playing our football, we keep listening to the manager, I think we'll gain promotion this year, that's our goal and yeah, as long as we keep staying as, as a team and working hard, then that's what's going to happen. Your goals are predominantly, you seem to your trademark if you like, is on the 18 yard line, you seem to spin on the sixpence and you always seem to find that bottom corner. Is, is that something you, you, you work on particularly or is that just instinctive for you? I think that's instinct. I've never really worked on that as a as a set target, but I think as a striker you have one natural thing or two natural things that you can do and I think that's just one of those things. I think as I get more opportunities, we'll see if I can score some more goals. Of the goals you've scored this season, uh, any stand out for you, any particular favourite? I mean, for me, your goal against Fleetwood was probably the best because it seemed to come from an impossible position. Um, yeah, I think my movement for that goal was, was quality, but I don't think that's my favourite one. I think the one against Luton, just because of the way we kept the ball, and then Gooch obviously slid me in, and then it was a nice, comfortable finish for me, and yeah, I think that's my favourite one. And you're playing on your own up front, but uh, until the weekend, and Charlie obviously picked up that injury, yeah. and Jerome Sinclair's back in now. Do you, are, you, are you happy playing on your own, or is it... As a striker, would you do you like to have someone alongside of you in, in, a, in a two? I think I could do both roles. I think as a striker on your own, you have a lot of responsibility to hold up the ball and to work hard for the team. I think playing with someone, you've got that link up play as well as as well as playing off each other. And I think I can do both roles. So whichever role the gaffer wants to put me in, I can I can do it. And we talk about you know young player and um, young player of the month. Uh, Competition even within your own team now it, it's, it's, it's quite big because with Lyndon Gooch, George Honeyman, uh, on the fringes you've got Barley Mumba and Ethan Robson. Yeah. Um, it's quite a, you know, quite a statement for the club, isn't it? Yeah, it's a big statement. I think there's a lot of options for, 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 for the manager, and I think that makes for a healthy competition, especially in training. I think 
as long as we work as a team, we're going to bring out the best in each other. So, yeah, that's what we're going to do. And um, finally, despite the disappointment of losing at Burton, first defeat mm. in the league, one defeat after eight games, the, the, the feeling, the unity within the team, the resilience in the team, is there still this strong feeling that you're, you're, you're on track? This is, you know, you probably will go back up. Yeah, for sure. I think we're going to keep that confidence because it's just one game we've got. A lot of games to go, and I think as long as we stick together as a team, we we keep pushing each other to be better. I think the manager is gonna gonna keep on to us, gonna give us that confidence and belief that that every game that comes, we're gonna go into it trying to win. So our our aim this season is to to gain promotion. I think as a team and as a manager, he's gonna he's gonna keep on to us to make sure that happens.